Hello again, it's Jessica with GEM, and I am back to bring you another STEM science experiment on our STEM series. So today I want to talk to you guys about um, static electricity. Today, before we start anything, let's talk about our safety rules. Let's make sure that we have parents' permission for anything that we do, any kind of experiment that you do along with us. Let's make sure we have any long hair pulled back, we have long sleeves on, we have pants and closed-toed shoes. And then today for our materials for our experiment, we are going to need a single sheet of paper. I have an open paper, but you can use computer paper um, or whatever you have around the house. You're going to need some tape, I just plain scotch tape. You're going to need some scissors um, and to cut paper. Just make sure you're allowed to use those for paper. And then we're going to need a balloon, and I just have a normal one, and some tissue paper. Or you could use some tissues if you have those around the house to blow your nose with, but tissue paper works really well too. Um, I found that this works the best for me, but the first thing we're going to do is take our tissue paper and we're going to cut little shapes out of it. So I did some people, I did some stars, I did some hearts, I did some little triangles, I even did like a little kite. Um, so that is the first step. And then what we're going to do is we're going to tape those little pieces of paper onto our notebook paper. Alright, so I have my piece of paper taped and you just want to tape one end so that it can move. So I have a couple of different things on here. I have some people, I have some triangles around, I have some hearts, I have a kite shape right there, I have some stars, I have more hearts, I have a heart that's upside down. <laughs> um, so I have a couple of different ones and I kind of t um, taped them however they fit. Then blow up our balloon and we are going to charge it with static electricity. Okay, so now that we have our balloon blown up, we are going to charge it with static electricity. So you want to either rub it, rub your balloon on some carpet, you want to rub it on some clothing, you want to rub it in your hair, however you want to do that. Um, you just want to make sure that it's really staticky when you're done, and then we're going to um, play with it with our piece of paper. Okay, so now my balloon is charged, so I'm going to hold my balloon over my little paper shapes and see if they can move. So ready? Ta-da! Okay, so I have my shapes moving. Not all of them are moving. So you can kind of see how they're moving with the balloon. There's two right there. And you just get close enough and you can see it move. That's our experiment for today. Um, so I'm gonna talk about static electricity. So the way that it moves is when you charge the balloon, it builds up all the ions. So what ions are, are they um, are little positive and negative particles on little pieces, like the little atoms of um, little particles that are making up stuff. So it charges the different particles and different ions um, it charges the particles to be ions, so they are either losing electro electrons or they're gaining electrons. So that means that they are becoming more negative of a charge or they're becoming more of a positive charge. So for that to work on our static electricity and our little pieces of paper, the balloon picks up all the negative electrons and it pulls them all up into the balloon. When you rub it on everything else, it takes it from your hair, it takes it from your clothes, and it wants to jump to the little pieces of paper, but it has to do that very carefully. It doesn't want to let go, really. It wants to hold onto the balloon as much as it can. So then it tries to hold hands with everything. It tries to connect to the balloon, and it tries to connect to the little pieces of paper at the same time, so they kind of um, want to pull together. So that's the way that they work. But usually the negative particles and the negative ions that you create want to stay as far away from each other as possible so that's a lot of them that jump they move from the balloon to the pieces of paper so that's when you're seeing it stand up so that's how static electricity works um, you can let us know um, how you did on your experiment on our facebook page at gem environmental you can show pictures you can show um, if you made like a little scene of little people and you caught little tiny pieces of paper and it worked really well or if you found that um, rubbing the balloon on different particles or rubbing the balloon on different articles of clothing or different um, ob objects works better to charge the balloon. 
that would be interesting so let us know if you find out anything about that that was all i have for you guys today so i hope you enjoyed this experiment and we'll catch you next time